Ooh. I got hustle, son. Yeah, the water's got a little bit of color to it. Ah, uh, Josh said he didn't catch anything on a buzz bait. Oh yeah. Oh, sorry, John. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. We'll, get, we'll skip a couple. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Come on. There we go. And this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever put on a kayak. It's crazy. I'm telling you. All right, yes, sir. Y'all have a great day. All right, boys and girls. Get the old slobber knocker out. Running what we ran last fall. Slobber knocker with jerk shad on the back. They seem to like this bigger full-size bait, especially when... Uh, the water's a little bit dirtier, which it is. There's a little bit of stain to this, which I actually really like a whole lot. Um, fish tend to bite a little bit better, especially power fish and stuff when the water's a little bit dirtier. And so, yeah, so we're gonna start with. We've also got a lot of current today, but it's gonna be good. We're gonna have fun. Little bitty. Quick release. Oh, that's funny. That's good right there. That was, that's good times right there. Hmm, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm. I just wonder here. I've caught, I've had one bite. Well, two bites. That other fish, he just kind of come up with a mouth that I don't really consider that a bite. I've had two bites on a bladed jig so far. About to maybe tie on a spinnerbait just to toss it around for a minute and see. I think John got one bite on a spinnerbait. But. This water is it's moving at a pretty good click i mean it's nothing crazy we've definitely fished it higher than this i've also fished it lower than this and so i know these fish are here the biggest thing is just all the flooding we had um and it kind of really changed the topography of some of these rivers this one not so much but there definitely was enough water in this river that it may have displaced some of these more residential fish like that oh my god john it was a giant <sighs> like that one right there lord have mercy hell fire and fuzzy i watched him eat it too all right well i'll tell you what happened there is i got completely out of position on that fish i let my kayak turn back sideways got out of position is exactly what happened well, we're gonna throw it back in there just see because normally where there's one there's more than one but yeah so i confirmed all i needed to see right there that uh they're gonna eat a bladed jig this may be one of those days like we've been having out here where we don't swing a lot but when we swing it's a freaking big one so damn man that was like a 20 inch or two that's a big old bass oh big old fish right there boys Phew. Phew, phew, phew. Oh, John, hey, dude, I just caught a freaking giant. This is probably the biggest smallmouth I've ever caught out here. Oh my word. Holy cow. What a smallmouth. Oh, okay. 
Okay. Okay. Holy. Dude, it's the biggest smallmouth I've ever caught out here. Oh, my word. Ooh. <laughs> Look at that slobber knocker right in its mouth. Oh, my gosh. What a fish. Oh, my gosh, what a fish. Okay. Okay, let's get in position here. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. That is a, a 21 and a half. Golly. Dude, what a smallmouth. Thank you, John. Four pounds, 15 ounces. Four, five pounder, yeah. Yeah, four pounds, 15 ounces, yeah. yeah. That's awesome, man. All right, guys. 21 and a half incher, almost five pounds. She's four pounds, 15 ounces, but just absolutely gorgeous fish. We're going to get her back in the water. She put up a good fight. We appreciate her, but it's time to get her back. So get out of here. Oh, get out of here. Come on, there she goes. She's starting to turn. Look at her. She's wanting to. She wanted to take off. Won't take off. Look, there she goes. She's just going to ease off. She's going to go get them in her kayak. Sit under your kayak. Yeah. That's awesome. What? That's crazy, guys. Whew. Man, listen. You cannot complain at that whatsoever. Let's get everything re rigged here and then we'll get back in the water. Oh, you're getting a 20, dude. I mean, because I've, I've just caught a 21 and a half and just missed another probably 20 incher. All right, guys. There you go. Well, chartreuse gold blade slobber knocker power stinger on the back 17 pound trialing on my fenwick gotta love it all right let's go back in the kayak and get after it come on man john just caught him a freaking giant guys i mean before i even got my kayak john just caught him a giant right almost out of the same spot <laughs> that's awesome buddy <laughs> Dude, it's the same. I mean, it's like the same exact spot. <laughs> Look at you, buddy. What happened there? I mean, same spot. <laughs> I just, uh, I had to jump out real quick before I got back out there. Right, right, had to be within 30 feet of where you caught yours, probably. Yeah, dude. That's a beautiful it's fish, man. Gorgeous fish, there. Good quick. work, dude. Quick dude, that was awesome, man. That was super fun. I can't believe I just did that. I mean, what a fish. Whew. All right. He just got his. I just turned around. He had like two pads. Catching the whole area. <laughs> Guys, well, that is the way to start out the morning. The thing is, is that one I jumped off was about that big. It was an absolute giant, probably a 20, 21 incher. And so I think the fish are biting today for absolutely certain. We just got to keep lures in the water and keep showing them something. But. Golly, what an awesome, what an awesome way to start the day. Big old 21 and a half inch, just behemoth of a smallmouth, nearly five pounds. That's what's so crazy about these river fish. I mean, you guys can see, you catch a 21 inch fish, you do that up in Michigan, you're going to catch a, you know, six pound smallmouth. You do that here in Tennessee and these skinny river smallmouth, these things are built for the river. They're just like little torpedoes, real thin on the sides. It's real giant in the tail. So that they can swim up against this current and live in this current and eat in this current. But this guy, <laughs> so much freaking fun, I can't stand it. Oh. Giant. 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 I ain't eat that big. He ain't that big. He's pretty good. He ain't that big. I thought he was way bigger than that. He's still good. Heck yeah. Pulled that thing all the way out. Oh, heck yeah. Golly, that fish felt so much stronger than that. That was awesome. A little chunk. Is that feels the fish is built right? Heck yeah. Thanks, bud. All right, guys, so there's the, the setup so you can see it a little bit better. Um, the key to today, there's a lot of keys to today, right? I mean, it's current. It's all kinds of different things. But the big key for today is not hitting a log and flipping um, is the trailer that I'm using. So I'm using, this is the Berkeley Power Jerk, Power Jerk Shad. 
power <laughs> the power bait jerk shad and so i'm using the jerk shad because it's just bigger profile and that bigger profile this time of year i don't know what it is you know we use the power stinger we use the deal i mean we use so many different you know bladed jig trailers but this time of year especially when we're fishing river current like we are right now these fish will just annihilate this bigger profile and so we it's something that Josh actually kind of discovered. Um, he started fishing a full-size uh, fluke on the back of his bladed jig and then kind of translated it to us. And it's something that I picked up and started doing as well. And this time of year, like I said, in the river current, absolutely gets annihilated. It's one of the best ways to catch them. And so, yeah, full-size jerk shad on the back. That's kind of one of the big keys today to actually catching these fish. And, yeah, we're having... We're having some fun. Caught, some, caught us a freaking big one. Got us another little one, lost one, and so can't really complain. But we're going to jet across through here. We got to go on the right side of this island. And then kind of what we like to do is fish. There's some shoals and then jet back across, and there's a bank. It's a real shallow bank, but the fish are always on it. So we're going to go see if they're there. And John just caught him another one. So cannot complain. have changed in this river um, we had those massive floods here in east tennessee this river in particular wasn't affected as much because the rivers that flow into it didn't flood as bad as the rivers that flow into douglas which is the other river that feeds into the tennessee river system and so this one's clear i mean it's got a little bit of color to it but nothing crazy but you can definitely see just like up on the bank how high the water actually got i mean all of this used to have like vegetation on it just like undergrowth and stuff like that and as you guys can see now it's completely stripped away and all that has to do with the fact that there was just an immense amount of water coming through this river now the other river the french broad um, it is fed by douglas which douglas is fed by the pigeon the nullichucky and the french broad and all three of those rivers are the ones that caused all that devastating flooding in western north carolina and east tennessee and so Douglas is a mud pit and the, good Lord of mercy, what a bite. Um, in the French broad has a little one, but he bit the crap out of it. Um, in the, but the French broad and, and Douglas um, are just chocolate milk mud. And like I was actually talking to a biologist about it. He said it might be years before it's actually clean again. Like just the amount of sediment and stuff that actually settled down into that lake is something of historic you know, amounts like they've never seen anything quite like it. So, yeah, it's crazy. But what's even crazier is just to sit and see on this river where there wasn't as much flooding. It was just water flow out and an immense amount of water flow. How it literally, I mean, you guys can see again, just ripped all of that undergrowth out. And there's no green left there. It's just, it's crazy. But, yeah, we're about, I don't know, I'd say probably through the first third of this float going into the second third um, we got lost about a 20 caught a 21 caught another one about 17 just caught that little one back there in that creek and we're just gonna keep fishing there's a lot of a lot of time left to catch some big old fish there's a lot of big ones live in this river and they seem to be biting today so we're we're getting in a little bit of a dead area here this normally is kind of slow but we're gonna keep on keeping on see what we can get done He's a giant. Call the game warden because we cooked us a state record. Ah! Skip Jack. Huh? Skip Jack. Skip Jack. I make, that makes sense. Did you catch one of them? Uh, they're just on my yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. That's funny. Got him. God dang, John, that's a giant. Come on, come out of there. Come here. Come here. Come here and stop it. <laughs> Dude. Woo! Yeah. There's a green fish I wanted. <laughs> you think he, uh, you think he wanted the slobber knocker? Lordy B. Eh, he might be five. He's high fours if he's anything, man. Golly, dude. I mean, he crushed that thing. I mean, as soon as it touched the water, dude, he, I mean, smashed the piss out of it. That's awesome. Let's do a little, little measurement on him. He's thick. Dude, he's a thick one. He's a thick boy. He's a 20-incher. <laughs> oh, man, Jessica. <laughs> he's the one. Hey, he's 20. <laughs> 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 That's what I'm talking about. Three, nope, four pounds, one ounce. Heck yeah. Yeah. Old four pounder. There you go, guys. Four pounds, one ounce, 20 inches long. Absolutely gorgeous fish. Unfortunately, I think I dropped my bladed jig right in the water, which pisses me off to no end, but let's get this one back in the water. He's ready too, man. I mean, that, that fish is pissed. Look at him biting my finger. That's awesome. Come on, buddy. Get out of here. There he goes. <laughs> well, that was fun. I can't complain because that was an extreme amount of fun. I just caught a four pound largemouth to end the day, rounded it out. Absolutely awesome. But I dropped my freaking slobber knocker rod in the water. I really don't know how I did it. I'm gonna have to go back and review the footage. I, I usually set it right here, and then I unhooked him and I threw the bait in the water. And when I threw the bait in the water, I must have just like, I don't know how I knocked it out. I can't tell you how many times I've done that and never knocked a rod out of my, out of my kayak, but I did it today. So, yeah, it is what it is. That's that is definitely one way to end the day. I'm glad that uh, we caught the fish that we did. I mean, you can't complain when you catch a 21 and a half five pound. 24 and a half inch, five pound smallmouth and a 20 inch, four pound largemouth. I mean, you cannot complain at all, but yeah. So I guess we're gonna have to order some new bladed jig rod. Get him, John. Big it. Get him, John. Get him, get him, get him, buddy. Get him, get him. Get him! Get him! Ah, get him! Get him, John! Get him! Get him, bud! Dude, that's a giant! Good work, bro! Good work! Heck yeah, dude! Oh, yeah, though. It's all dangerous. Yeah. I just had, happened to bring it. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Heck yeah, dude. Pinned him perfectly. Woo! Goodness! The body of that thing. That. That's awesome, bro. It was a line through. I think it's a six inch one. Good well, job, just, man. I just happened to bring it and then I went to go throw it. And then after you were like, I saw that, yeah. I was like, well, let me just throw it around here. And then it slowly fish. smokes it. Dude, look at the tail on that. Look how big its tail is. Those river fish are built different, dude. And they, this isn't normal thickness for these. This is just like a fall time thing yeah. around here. Summertime, we're not getting them. No, they're thick. skinny. Good work, dude. This tail's so wide. 18 and some change is what I'm guessing. 18 and a half. Yep, there you go. Good work, dude. Hey, Alex just caught a 20 inch largemouth, and I got this at the same time. Dude, spot. and they're up and they're eating now. Did you hear that one yeah, come through and eat? That's awesome. Dude, that was cool. Good job. All right.
Okay, yep, 35 miles an hour is not the speed limit, whatever.